Welcome to the beginner's guide to making BHO. Today I'm going to be talking about equipment. We're going to go through each of the components that you see in front of me over here and understand how they can be used in a BHO extraction system. I'm going to use this as the first episode of a series of videos where I will be taking you through the processes of creating this beautiful extract. BHO is made by using two different processes. First, you have to extract the cannabis oils and terpenes and cannabinoids off of the plant matter. And then after that period, you have to clean it. The reason you have to clean it is because this is a solvent based extraction method. Enter the open blast columns. I have my big blast column over here, as you can see, which is this space age looking piece of stainless steel. And then I've got the mini guy over here as well. So basically each of these is made by, up by a whole lot of attachment pieces. We have our top, which has a tiny hole for the butane canister to go into. We've got our column where we fill all the good good up and then we have our openings at the bottom. The bigger column has a tap so I can actually open and close it to create a little bit of pressure. Whereas the smaller column does not, it just has a mesh at the bottom. I do make use of some coffee filters when I'm making the BHO just to make sure it, no plant matter gets into the product and this sort of extraction process that you're seeing over here is where a lot of the dangers of making BHO comes in. So when you're dealing with vast amounts of butane, you have to be super careful. You're going to always extract your BHO in a well ventilated place. I have a really clean area outside that I do all of my blasting in and I make sure that most of the butane has evaporated off using a Bain Marine before I even bring that product close to any enclosed kind of room. One more note on all of this, a lot of the time you're gonna find BHO that's been made just using these products and that can be clean. However, the process does take a little bit longer and you don't really get the results that I'm looking for or in my experience just yet. So that's the blasting side of the BHO extraction protocol. Secondly, we'll move on to these products which you see on my left over here. This is my vacuum pump and this is my vacuum chamber. And basically this is a chamber that has a tempered glass lid. This is where the second process comes in. As you can see, there's a pipe attached onto my chamber. I'm able to seal my chamber off from the fresh air and turn my pump on to create a vacuum. Allow it to purge over the course of around 72 to 96 hours. Being under pressure, it allows the butane to evaporate completely from the product and I'm left with an incredibly, incredibly clean product at the end. For those of you who are doubting me, I have used these exact methods which we've spoken about now and I have sent it in for testing at Cure and it's come back clean. So if I'm able to make a clean product using a solvent, it's really not as bad as a lot of us anticipated it to be at the start. This was just a brief overview of the two main components that you're gonna be using when making safe BHO and that is my blasting columns and my vacuum rig. The column itself used to extract the crude oil as I'm going to be calling it throughout of this series and then the extraction rig or the vacuum rig is what I use to get my final product. Now depending on how you use this rig you can get a bunch of different consistencies also, depending on what you do during the period, you can change the end product. So this is a really, really exciting space that we're gonna be delving into. And I wanna welcome you to Dean's series on the safe methods to extracting BHO. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you out there. Peace out.